Today I'll be doing a review of the Contact by CKX. I have 1,288 miles on this helmet and it's time to do a review. Is this the oxygen killer that I portrayed in my earlier videos? We'll find out. Initially, when I did a review on this helmet, I had high hopes for this helmet. And it's a good looking helmet overall. And it, it, it covers all the bases in terms of features that I'm looking for. But the execution is somewhat uh, underdeveloped. I think, in a nutshell, it is what it is. It's a, a sub $200 helmet, and my expectations should be checked accordingly. For an occasional trail rider or someone who's not going to venture too far from the truck or from civilization, I think it would be a fine helmet or as a, as a backup helmet. But I don't think that I'll be using the CKX Contact for another season. And right out of the box, it looked pretty good. But um, I took, recently took a 800 mile trip to Quebec and the first day um, I got water in between the lenses of my shield. And that's a big problem when you're on a week long trip away from civilization. So what I ended up having to do was I took a utility knife and I cut the two lenses apart and dried the inside out with my wife's hair dryer and used some RTV silicone to seal the lens back up. It uh, didn't work perfectly because obviously there was some moisture in there and it had, had dried on the lens so there was a haze. I rode like that for the rest of the week and um, was pretty disappointed. Some of the other things that I don't like about the helmet are the vent. Uh, there's only one vent, and that's probably not enough. The other thing is that it's it, per, it, it looks like it's a warm helmet, but it's not. It's fairly leaky, actually, and there was more airflow in the helmet than I wanted at times, especially on the cold days. And you'd think that this would seal it up, but it, it just doesn't. It leaks air uh, right into your face. One of the other things that I do not like is this chin curtain. I, in my first review video, I had commented that it could be, needed to be done somewhat like Skidoo's oxygen helmet, but this is nearly useless. Uh, maybe just to cover, just to block some wind just like that, but it hangs down most of the time and looks sloppy. It doesn't stick anymore after one season and it just hangs down. Uh, you could tuck it into your coat, I guess, but that defeats the purpose. My communicator fits on here nicely. I had no problem running the wires. Uh, this buckle is a nice feature, the quick connect buckle. Um, the, the shield, the tinted shield is pretty flimsy. And on my wife's helmet, would not go up. It froze in place and it would not retract. So it took me flipping on it and her pushing it up to get it to retract. One other nice item that I enjoyed was the connection down here for the heated shield so that you can see that it's on. That is a nice feature. I was able just to look in my mirror. You can look in the reflection of maybe your gauges or something and see that your heated shield's on. The reason that I bring this connection up right here is because my wife also has one of these helmets. And at the beginning of our ride, she said her visor was all fogged up. I said, well, you must not have your cord plugged in. Take a look in your mirror and see if your light's on. She said, no, my light's not on. And I said, okay. So why don't you bring the helmet over to my sled? and see if it works. So we plugged it into my sled and it worked. Well, I thought, well, maybe her heated shield uh, outlet died. And I found out that it didn't because I plugged my helmet into her sled and it worked. And the cord that came with the helmet died in the middle of the week on us. So her helmet had not been worn, but maybe a couple times and the cord died. So I think that there is some quality control issues um, 
perhaps my expectations were too high for the quality of the helmet. It had all of the features that I wanted in a helmet, but with the shield fogging, the cord dying, and the leakiness that I wasn't expecting, and you can see light in between the visor and the gasket when you have the helmet on, so you know that there's leakiness there. I think my expectations were a little too high. I thought this was a great value, and it, it, and it is if you want all these features, but a lot of them either don't work or may let you down. This is especially not useful. Otherwise, the helmet's fairly comfortable. It does feel heavier than what it is. Now, I do have a communicator on there, and I was not running the GoPro on my helmet, but it does feel heavier. My neck was fairly tired, and I don't know if that's due to the shape of the helmet or the size, but the weight is, is lighter than my old G-Max that I used to wear. So I, I don't know if I'll be using this helmet again. I'm sure that I can warranty the shield out and that's great because it will save me $100, and um, that's, that's fine. But the point is that if you're going on an 800-mile trip, and, and part of it was my fault, I should have taken a backup helmet. But having a new helmet, I'd used it a couple times, uh, so I thought it would work fine. But then the shield leaked, and uh, that's a big problem, especially in very cold temperatures. Once moisture gets in between these lenses, that's pretty much it. So I would not, if you have it in the budget, I would not recommend this helmet as your primary helmet. I think that CKX has a lot of good things going here, but I think that there is some more work to do on the execution and the quality control. Now I will say this, that uh, four people in my group had CKX mission helmets the new Mission Helmet by CKX, and none of them had issues with that helmet. So that was, you could even tell by the fit and finish of the helmet, just looking at it, that it was a nicer helmet. And they also come with a higher price too. So uh, temper your expectations if you go with this. Um, I probably will not be wearing this helmet for next season. I'll either get a CKX Mission or a Skidoo Oxygen or wait for something else better to come out and go back to the old G-Max, but do not rely on this as your primary helmet.